It's recommended to use subtitles. Sleep paralysis. We have all had it at some point in our lives. But what is it? And what to do when entering one? Before we begin if you like this kind of videos and want to see more of them, then make sure to like this video. Also be sure to subscribe and make sure the notification button is activated so you will know when we upload a new video immediately. Sleep paralysis is a state, during waking up or falling asleep, in which a person is aware but unable to move or speak. During an episode, one may see astral or ether beings, which often results in fear. Episodes generally last less than a couple of minutes. It may occur as a single episode or be recurrent. The condition may occur in those who are otherwise healthy or those with narcolepsy, or it may run in families as a result of specific genetics the condition can be triggered by sleep deprivation, psychological stress, or abnormal sleep cycles. Sleep paralysis is commonly experienced by lucid dreamers, some lucid dreamers use this as a method of having a lucid dream. Diagnosis is based on a person's description. Other conditions that can present similarly include narcolepsy, atonic seizure, and hypokalemic periodic paralysis. Treatment options for sleep paralysis have been poorly studied. It is recommended that people be reassured that the condition is common and generally not serious. Other efforts that may be tried include sleep hygiene, cognitive behavioral therapy, and antidepressants. Between 8% and 50% of people experience sleep paralysis at some point in their life. About 5% of people have regular episodes. Males and females are affected equally. Sleep paralysis has been described throughout history. When in sleep paralysis, we are in between of the psychical and astral world, aka the etheric world or ether. At this point our astral body is half in and half out of the body. This is the reason why we are conscious and can see entities, but we can't move our body. It's important to note that most of the time the beings you see are not really going hurt you, they're but poor and weak beings, who only will try to scare you to feed of your fear-based energy. What to do when having a sleep paralysis episode? There are multiple things you can do from here. 1. You can go into a deep state of meditation quite faster than doing it normally. 2. You can enter slash create a lucid dream. This is done by, relaxing, taking your time, and visualizing slash creating the scene for you lucid dream, and you will slightly slide into a lucid dream. 3. You can enter the astral realm. This is done by just gathering all your power and courage, and just jump out of your bed slash body with all your force. At this point the scary being will probably already run a far away from you to hide, and thus the roles have been reversed. 4. Get out and wake up so it's over. This is done by again relaxing, knowing nothing is going to happen or hurt you. And just focus on your body and try to move your body bit by bit. Until you're fully in control. This was it for this video. If you liked it and want to see more of this kind of videos then make sure to like this video. Also be sure to subscribe and make sure the notification button is activated so you will know when we upload a new video immediately.